Hello, this is Johnny Boy. Today I'm going to show you what I think might be the most useful thing I've built yet for Arma. It's an ambient activity framework which makes it super easy for mission makers to make a uh, very active populated area where AI walk around performing different activities and talking to one another. So it's going to greatly improve ambience and immersion in towns, villages, and army bases, and it's super easy to use. Uh, currently there's 15 different activities that can be performed, but I'm going to show you start out very simple here. So what you do is you create an area by placing an object that's going to be the center of the object. So I'm using the sphere which will be set invisible at runtime and uh, we make one call for this sphere for this particular market and uh, it will then search for 75 meters around it which is uh, definable. It could be you know 200 or 500 if you have a big city. And it's going to look for objects that have strings in their names. So I have destination objects, and in this simple example, there's two. And in the string name for this object, whoops, I'm, how come I'm not on there? There we go, destination. You'll see the substring is DEST. So it's going to find all those objects that have this destination, and the AI are going to move from one to the other to perform an activity. So in this simple example, we have two destination objects. Well, we need to find AI to then move around and perform activities. So I have two simple AI here, and uh, they will have the string shopper embedded in their name. And here's another shopper. So I'm kind of using the analogy of a marketplace, but it works in an army base or in anything. So that shoppers are people that walk around and and uh, and perform activities or or you know want to shop for a service and then there may or may not be sellers so I have one seller set up here in this market stall and he's, he's somebody to interact with he's sitting at this table at this stall and uh, somebody will go to this destination if a seller you'll see that seller is in, embedded in his name and there could be 50 sellers or two sellers or you know there's no limit there can be 50 shoppers uh, if he happens to be next to a chair then it will sit him in the chair automatically. If he's not, he'll just be standing somewhere. So let's just see what happens in this very simple example of two, two shoppers, this is the player, one marketplace, and two destinations, and one seller. So at runtime, it the script's going to find the marketplace, find the destinations, find the sellers, and then send them to those destinations randomly to have an interaction. When that seller, when a shopper arrives at a destination, if there's another unit nearby, they're going to have an ambient conversation. So it takes a minute, you know, a few seconds to initialize. Okay, he's going to he's going to walk over to there, and uh, he's just going to look at the stall because that's a very simple. Uh, Negative. Since he was next to a guy, he started having an ambient conversation. He's going to go to the other guy, which will be a little more interesting. Okay, so that's ambient conversation. And uh, what it's done is it's taking the voice of the, of the unit. It's taking the voice of the unit. And uh, that voice, in my case, if it's VC, uh, I'm assigning it to be Chinese. But if they're Vietnamese characters and they're going to perform the ambient conversation, there's a list of ambient uh, Vietnamese voice files that came with Pr the Awesome Prairie Fire DLC that uh, they will say one of those. If, they're, if their voice is set to English, they'll speak one of the ambient uh, English files from, from the uh, original Arma campaign, the Resistance campaign. And... Uh, if they're Chinese, there's a bunch of Chinese lines from the Old Man Free DLC that they will say. And I've purposely set the volume down and the pitch to be tweaked because the player's not really uh, meant to understand them. They're just supposed to you know, feel that they're talking to one another and having a conversation because what they're saying is actually out of context, but I still think it, it adds immersion value that they're having a conversation. This is for the... The, uh, the default case of when two units are near one another and they're going to have an ambient conversation. You'll see that uh, there's more complex interactions where they actually have a contextual interaction where they're uh, selling them. There's a gun merchant selling guns, for instance, and they'll haggle. So these guy, two guys are talking, 
and there's only two destinations, so he's going to go back here and look at those goods again. And that was a dead simple interaction. Let's make it more interesting. I'm on my laptop, so it's slow. Let's go make some more shoppers. And it could be as many as you want. So now there's six shoppers. I'm going to put another seller. He's just going to stand over here in this stall. But somebody. What's that? Okay. Whoops. That was just two, uh, two more shoppers. Now I'm copying the seller, putting the seller here. And he's standing there. No one's going to visit him, though, unless there's a destination. So let's copy a destination, put it in front of him. And you want him to look at the guy when he gets there, whoever the shopper is. So I'm going to make sure he's, the uh, arrow is facing towards him. So I have three destinations, two shoppers, and uh, no, well, two sellers, and looks like six shoppers. And let's add some more destinations. So here I have a, a cluster of three destinations. And uh, that's interesting because if more than one guy arrives there, they will have a conversation in the street. You could have two, three, four, whatever. Where'd it go? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they're going to meet there, and if more than one guy gets there, he's going to talk to them. And uh, I've laid out a bunch of pre-set up destinations and whatnot. Here's a, a set of chairs with beers on a table. So any one of these destinations, somebody could walk up to, and they'll sit in it hang out for a while. And if somebody else shows up in one of the other chairs, they'll have a conversation. So now we've got multiple conversations going. What else do we got? Here we got <laughs> uh, somebody's going to come over here and cool off the brakes on this tire. And what do we got here? There's the shower. So we have shower objects. These are set up in army bases. If I, I can copy and paste this into as many showers as exist on the map if I want to, right? So somebody's going to move there, and they're going to take a shower. And what else do we got? This one's called... No, that's not it. How about repair? Repair tire. So somebody's going to come over here and he will play it perform an action to repair this tire i'm going to make sure that the destination is pointing at the tire that's good enough for a start so i think we have six units that are going to walk around to these various destinations Takes a little while to initialize. Okay, they're all being randomly assigned destinations. This guy went to look at the stall. We've seen that before. All right, we get. Now you got three guys drinking beers and telling stories, which is cool. And you missed it, but this guy just took his clothes off, and he's taking a shower. I think I'm going to have to change that to use uh, Alias Cartoon's awesome leak scripts to make the water look better. But you get the idea. We're using Pol Pox's animations. He's uh, doing different stuff. He's taking a shower. His equipment's on the ground. When he's done, he'll pick it up and leave. Anybody repairing a car yet? No. So all the other guys decided to go, go sit at that table and chat for a while. This guy finished his shower, and he put his clothes back on. He's done. What's he going to do next? Oh, the table is very popular today. Let's 
And he's going to go talk to that seller. That's because he wasn't. The intended target was me, my. So those guys are speaking Vietnamese to one another. This guy's done talking. He had enough beer. What's going on over here? Well, I gave him too many talking uh, activities. Let's uh, add some more stuff. I'm going to take away the take away the uh, the table because I was sucking up too many of the guys. And let's add some bayonet practice. I'm going to get rid of the three guys talking to each other destination. And we'll add a barbecue. This is a more interesting interaction because they're not just going to have ambient talk. They're actually going to order food off the barbecue. Barbecue right there. And make a few more sellers so that the chances of the stuff we want to see happening in a short time frame is good. So now we have, a, I don't know, 12 sellers. And uh, the way that the code knows to dispatch them to a different interaction is the name has something embedded in it. So there's the barbecue interaction or the repair tire interaction or the, u or the shower interaction. So let's watch that. As you can see, with uh, this template of these destinations already set up you can just copy and paste them into anywhere on the map and set up a marketplace and very quickly you guys have move, guys moving around doing all these different things okay they're gonna go about their business you wouldn't you would uh, start this before the player got to it so you wouldn't see that you know gamey thing where the guys are standing around doing nothing and then all of a sudden they start moving Okay, I think some guys are going to do some uh, bayonet or some practice here. I think this would be great for a VC training camp. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's an English guy before he did the stick. I made one of them. Uh, a couple of these guys are speaking English instead of Vietnamese. If they don't have a primary weapon, then I randomly assign them one of the uh, melee weapons. It, they just both happen to get the machete, but it could be the knife or the bayonet. And uh, so these guys are training. Uh, I guess I wasn't looking, but somebody just took a leak on that tire. Got another guy taking a shower. Austin. Enemy. And this guy, the other guy's going to use a shovel on it. And uh, we're using only in-game voices, so they've got their attack voices, and uh, that's the uh, the awesome uh, prairie fire. Me melee grunt sound. This guy's working on the tire. This guy, nature calls. And you notice a puddle forms, and the puddle actually starts moving towards him. <laughs> uh, you don't have to use any of these. You could, you can just pick and choose the ones you want. And uh, hopefully somebody will come over here to a shop. Meanwhile, I'm going to mess with him a little bit by putting out his fire. Notice we got some tasty snakes and a fish on there. That's random. There can be a mix of any number of snakes or fish. So he just said light the fire in, in Chinese. I'm going to put it out again. He's starting to get annoyed. <laughs> and he just gave me the finger because he's pissed off at me. Oh, but now here we got a guy's gonna. You need to order some food. And he's having a snake. So he's having himself a little tasty uh, 
snake snack. If uh, if these guys had been English speakers, that transaction would have happened in English. If they were French speakers, that transaction would have happened in French. So you can see that it's uh, very easily to get a lot of activity going here. I've, I've compacted it in a, in a small area just for the s sake of demonstration, but this could be spread around the village. So that's enough of that. I'm going to show you some uh, areas that are active right now that are a city market and the, and I think it's Saigon or, or Hui, let's see. I'll go be the military policeman. Okay, so this market's already going. And what's it got going on? It has a table with guys talking. They randomly show up, have a few beers and chat. Here's another guy who's going to join them. So, uh, like I said, some of them I set to English so you'd hear stuff other than Chinese and Vietnamese. Here's a, a gun salesman. And when somebody comes there, there's an interesting chat. This guy's walking up and talking to a guy in a car, and he's pointing at him while he's talking, which is cool. We've got another barbecue. This one has just snakes because it's random what, whether it's what kind of combination of snake and fish. That guy just threw something in the garbage can and there's is if it's a can it makes a metallic sound. If it's a bottle you hear it crash and if he actually makes the shot he says two which is an American basketball thing for two points. Some more barbecued snakes. Guys just a seller hanging out at his market and somebody talking to him. Another market stall. The guys are talking. And yeah, this is a better, more interesting uh, involved. Nope, he's not going there. Come on. Yeah, he is good. He's saying requesting service, and he goes, take that weapon. So he picked one up. He's going to sample it. Yep. He made an offer. He said 350. Said. So they're, nego they're negotiating. And he's saying, put it down. <laughs> So he put it back. That needs a little work because he turned away. But <laughs> so they, there's a, a couple different variations of that. Usually they just walk away, and that was the uh, rarer one where they the guy wants to take the weapon, so the uh, seller pulls it. That would have been in English or French or whatever, depending on their language. Um, what else we got? You've seen a car repair. We also do the other car repair. Oh, here we go. The guy's doing it underneath the repair. There's two different repair animations. So he just finished repairing, and he's going to get up walk away and uh, here's a guy taking a leak against the building so you get the idea also if uh, somebody's killed in the market then they all start running around and react it takes a little while but okay so they should start doing a uh, scared and panicking. Somebody's shooting at me, so I better hide. See, now they're crouching and hiding and exiting vehicles and running around. So you see that they've reacted to the, uh, the danger. So there can be a timer on this where it goes back to normal after things get safe again. This guy's going to shoot me. All right, so that's enough of, uh, <laughs> there you go. Somebody got it. Now I'm going to go to an army base that I've only set up a portion of it. So here's an army base using the exact same shopper marketplace deal. So there's a garbage can. People can walk up and throw garbage in. Here's a guy. He's just sitting, and people are going to come talk to him. Here's an, here's an army guy. He's barbecuing. 
And over here we've got guys doing uh, exercises. So they'll do the deep knee bends and push-ups. And uh, they can also do the... the uh, yeah, my computer's lagging. They can do the kata, the martial arts stuff. Now this, he's doing some bayonet practice. There's a rifle range. This guy walks up. It's another activity. And all I could I could set up, I could just copy and paste these uh, these platforms and targets and have eight guys shooting. That simple. So he's going to cycle through shooting and adjusting his weapon. He's going to stand up and adjust his weapon. So he's tweaking on it. And he's going to lay back down and shoot again. Ready to fire. He's going to sit up and tweak on it some more with a different tweak animation. So, if you got a mission and there's a task, you know, these guys are going to be doing this all around you while you're going to the talk to the commander to get your uh, to get your orders or whatever. So, uh, we can do anything here. This other guy's going to go through the same routine. He's going to lay down and start shooting. This guy's done his last adjustment on the right. And when he's done, he'll do some suppressing fire where he fires more rapidly. It's not a great shot. Okay, there you go. So, so he's, he's done with his uh, rifle practice. Let's see what's going on over at the latrines. This guy. <laughs> He's not having a good time. I think he had some bad chili in the mess hall last night. So I am uh, using Pol Pox's mimics and animations. But you don't have to use that if you don't like it. Here we got shower set up. It was super easy just to copy and paste the, uh, the shower destination into these and get them going. Yeah. I need something to do something about the guys walking around with their their knives. But that's simple enough. He's going to take a shower. He just put his weapon down, put his uniform down on the ground. He pulls on the tugs on the string. And uh, now he's taking a shower. So I think there is great module potential here. We could, uh, the mission maker, fire. mission maker could put a module down on the map where he wants it, and within the module parameters, you would specify the uh, diameter, or the radius, rather, of the area that you want to cover, and if it's an army base, it would look around for these latrines, and then create the destinations for you instead of you placing them and it would find the shower objects and place the destination for a shower it would find barbecue objects and then create create the uh the cellar automatically and the destination for the barbecue it could find the garbage can objects and create the destination for a guy walking up and throwing his trash away it could find open areas to place tables and chairs so that guys could sit around and talk uh so there's i think definite module potential here as well so I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are going to find this very useful. Johnny Boy out.